Hello YouTube viewers. We found another wrench. This is like a speedy pipe wrench. I've used it if you put a lot of water pipe together or a gas pipe, threaded pipe, because it's so fast to put together. You know, you release and fold. And then you can do this with your thumb to open it. We've got the pin part way out. See how it's flange there? So we'll remember what side it goes in. Because we want to take it apart to clean it. We're just bored. It's just a tool, but we're we're in that kick of doing wrenches, so we might as well go for it. But in case I forget to take a picture of this. We haven't decided we're gonna paint it in there. Uh my trick is to thin the paint down real thin. And then it will get on top letters. I just flow it. And it takes a long time. So it's going to take a long time for the paint to dry each side before you flip it over. So that's one way I do it. I try to get the paint real thin and put it in there. So I don't have to take as much off the top of the lettering. We'll see. I may just paint over the lettering. Like I said, it's just a tool. This, there is a spring in here. Here's part of it. How this is spring action. You can see it down in there. So I thought I had this pin roll come out. We'll, we'll, we'll take the pin out and give you one real quick clip before we clean it up. Okay, there we go. We got the pin out. We remember which way it goes in. Is there some dirt and rust we want to clean out down in there? We don't know how far we're going to polish this. We're going to just try the basic. Uh, maybe take the this to get any real deep stuff off. And then just take this to scrub it. We're not going to really put a mirror polish on it. Uh, it's going to get used. So we're not going to polish that to a mirror finish. Uh, with the polish. With, I mean with this kind of stuff. So stay tuned. We've got the bench block. Comes in handy, don't it? By whatever hole it's going to go down. Hammer, roll pin punch, or drift punch, whatever they call it. Just cheap new ones, Harbor Freight. I don't promote their product, but they're just cheap. And they will fall apart. Some of these, this part actually comes out. I'm actually spinning it. But that don't matter. I mean, they're... They get the job done. Okay, stay tuned. Okay, this is just what the black scrubby wheel I call it, with the silicon carbine in it. And there was peeling chrome in here, so some of the chrome was on there, so I didn't remove it all, but I did smooth it out where it's hard to tell where it was flaking. That wasn't going to grind all day. And I kind of tried to stay in one direction. If you go lengthways, it leaves longer scratches. This way, like say the wheels like this, you'll, you'll see. You want a pattern that doesn't look bad when you look at it. So that's the pattern I'll do with the abrasive wheel. And then maybe turn the corner, but... I took a lot of the scum off down here. Took any sharp edges off. It actually reached down these nook and crannies. Like here. Of course, we'll show you. Bring it over here. We, we don't like wearing down the side of the wheel. But, you know, you got to get in there once in a while. But we don't want to ruin the sides of this. We want to keep this like a grindstone. So, there you go. We're off to do the other part. Do the rough parts. And then we'll take our other brush to it. Okay, we got some really deep scratches. We don't want to take it to a belt sander or nothing, but we're going to use our black abrasive wheel. Then go back with the, which I just used the red one. So we might take some polish that so it doesn't have such nasty lines. We really didn't want to put a mirrored polish on this, but if there is going to be any spot, it'll probably be right here. Uh, maybe a light polishing on that. Cause we're trying to make this look just a little bit better than that beat up so see we was getting it improved a little bit so stay tuned we'll see what happens oh see that i got down in the cracks that wire brush got that spring and all that rust in there so i got that wear a dust mask too beside your goggles you don't know what's in there stay tuned okay we're done this all we use is these two wheels that's good enough for a tool there is lines in there but we tried keeping them like one direction and then with that brush too. So it's good enough for a tool. I mean, you can see there's lines. But some tools did kind of come that way. Okay, we're done except for paint. So you won't see this again until it's painted. But 
So I always found that handy. You got to kind of go like that to get on your little large diamond pipe, but it's, it's a handy tool for hurrying up putting pipe together. So you can always take a big pipe wrench to tighten it, but it's for assembly like gas pipe or water pipe. Right? It it goes real fast. So stay tuned. It'll be a while, and paint this will have to dry on one side. We may not see both sides in the video, but we'll at least have one side done. Which we'll do this one. Adjust the adjust the matic. Think of them big names they had back then. It sounds cool. Wheel is that W H W. E I L correct myself while somebody help me pronounce that when you watch the video W E I L just matic boy makes it sound like something special stay tuned okay we are done paint still drying but you can kind of see if you look at it that the paints not really on the top of the letters. I know it's hard to see here. Maybe in a picture be easier. But it does look silver on the top of the letters. We can always go back and scrape it off. And this is made in Japan. It says on the other side. But we just painted one side of it. There's what it says Japan. Just one side. We hang it up. It looks good. Uh, we're going to start hanging some of our inches on the wall somewhere. They're nice. But it will get used again someday. Uh, pin went right back in. We did clean it up with the wire brush. It was plated, but we're not really worrying about the look of that. But there you go. Thanks for watching. Uh, it's a pretty odd wrench. I have to remember how to spell that. I'll be looking back at the picture when I put that in the description. I can't kick out that stuff, though. I really do. The big names. So you kind of turn it, and you can tell it's not really painted on top of there. That it, it is really hard to tell what on the camera, but it is kind of silver on top. And then it'll wear too. You know, usually it's going to wear off the letters when it's cured. It'll probably cure for, uh, with all the thinner, I'd say, I better let it cure for a day. There you go. Thanks again for watching.